Our planet is always changing, its surface in a constant state of motion and transformation. But rarely do we witness something as monumental as the birth of a new ocean, a process that will forever alter the face of the Earth. Right now, in Africa, the ground is splitting apart, setting the stage for a vast sea that will one day divide the continent and create new coastlines. This isn't ancient history, it's happening now, along the East African Rift System, a living laboratory for geologists and a dramatic reminder of Earth's restless nature. Stretching from the Red Sea to Mozambique, this rift is a network of valleys, volcanoes, and plains, quietly widening for millions of years, shaping the landscape and the lives of those who call it home. But now, the process is accelerating, with visible changes happening in just a single lifetime. What once seemed a distant event is becoming more immediate, as cracks appear in fields and roads, and communities adapt to a shifting landscape. The African continent is being torn in two, and a new ocean is forming slowly but inexorably beneath our feet. The rift is driven by immense heat and pressure from deep within the earth, where molten rock pushes upward, forcing the land to crack and separate. Tectonic plates are pulling apart, causing the land to sink and form a long valley that will eventually become the floor of a new ocean. Eventually this valley will drop below sea level, and waters from the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden will flood in, creating a new ocean basin and transforming the geography of Africa forever. Earthquakes and fissures are becoming more frequent, and dormant volcanoes are awakening, signaling the immense forces at work beneath the surface. These are the birth pangs of a new sea, a dramatic and sometimes violent process that is both destructive and creative. The land is stretching, thinning, and breaking, preparing for the ocean to come, as the continent slowly transforms before our eyes. For local people, it's a time of uncertainty, as homes, roads, and farmlands are affected by the shifting ground and new hazards emerge. For scientists, it's a rare chance to witness a geological event that shapes our world, offering insights into the forces that have sculpted continents for billions of years. The story of Africa's new ocean is one of creation and destruction, unfolding right now, a testament to the dynamic power of our planet. The rift's transformation will reshape not just Africa but the world, influencing climate, ecosystems, and even the course of human history. The signs are all around us, earthquakes, fissures, and volcanic activity, reminders that the Earth is alive and ever-changing. The continent's future is being rewritten beneath our feet as the slow march of geological time becomes visible in the present. The birth of an ocean is no longer a distant dream, it's a reality in motion, unfolding with every tremor and every crack in the Earth. Africa's landscape and our understanding of the planet will never be the same, as we witness the dawn of a new ocean and the next chapter in Earth's story. To understand how an ocean is born, we need to look far beyond the water's edge and deep into the planet's restless heart. We must look beneath the surface, where the real story of continents and oceans unfolds. Earth's crust is a mosaic of tectonic plates, massive slabs of rock that are constantly shifting atop the hot, flowing mantle below. In East Africa, these plates are slowly pulling apart, a process known as rifting, which is reshaping the land in dramatic ways. The African plate is splitting into two giant pieces, the Nubian plate to the west and the Somali plate to the east. A plume of superheated rock from deep within the mantle pushes upward, stretching and thinning the crust above it, fueling volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. The East African Rift is the visible crack where this geological drama is unfolding before our eyes. Here, the land is subsiding, and the crust is beginning to look more and more like the floor of a newborn ocean. The rift isn't a single break, but a complex network of valleys, faults, and volcanoes, each playing a role in the continent's transformation. In the Afar Depression, three tectonic plates are pulling away from each other, creating one of the most geologically active places on Earth. The land here has sunk over a hundred meters below sea level, forming a surreal landscape of salt flats, volcanoes, and frequent earthquakes. This is the place where, eventually, the Red Sea will break through, flooding the rift and beginning the final stage of the ocean's birth. The process is uneven. Some areas move apart by just millimeters each year, while others shift by centimeters, making the landscape ever more unpredictable. In geological terms, this is rapid change an extraordinary pace for the planet's slow-moving crust. The Afar Depression offers a rare glimpse into the future, a place where the continent is already splitting and new landscapes are being born. Scientists see it as a living laboratory, 
A preview of what's to come for all of East Africa as the rift widens. The unzipping of Africa is well underway and the continent's story is being rewritten in real time. The fate of an entire continent is being decided deep below our feet, where the forces of geology never rest. Geologists once thought Africa's new ocean was millions of years away, but new data shows the process is accelerating, possibly unfolding in as little as half a million years. Advanced GPS and satellite imaging reveal the rift widening at a surprising pace. Sometimes the ground moves several meters in days, not millennia. Magma rising from below injects molten rock into the rift, forcing it open in bursts. This volcanic activity called dike intrusion can trigger swarms of earthquakes and rapid ground shifts. The splitting of Africa is no longer a slow curiosity. It's a present-day phenomenon. The forces shaping the continent are more active than we imagined. The birth of a new ocean is a future rushing toward us. In 2005, Ethiopia's Afar region revealed the raw power of rifting. The Dabahu volcano erupted, triggering over 400 earthquakes in weeks. A massive fissure, 60 kilometers long and up to 10 meters deep, tore through the desert. The land separated by 8 meters in just three weeks, a leap that would normally take centuries. Scientists watched in near real time as magma forced its way up, wedging the crack open. This event proved that dike intrusion is the engine driving the rift apart. For locals, it was a terrifying reminder of the unstable ground beneath them. For scientists, it was a priceless experiment in continental breakup. The 2005 event showed that the transition from rift to ocean can happen in sudden, violent bursts. Africa's journey to a new ocean will be marked by more such dramatic episodes. The birth of a new ocean comes at a steep price for those living along the rift. Millions face daily threats from earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Homes, infrastructure, and lives are at constant risk from the shifting ground. Fissures can sever roads and pipelines overnight, isolating communities and disrupting economies. In 2018, a crack split a major Kenyan highway, forcing families to flee. The unpredictability is the greatest danger. No one knows when or where the next disaster will strike. Governments must plan for cities that may need to be relocated and borders that could vanish. Living on the rift means living with uncertainty, as the land beneath your feet is on a journey to an unknown future. The human cost is real, immediate, and growing. The ground's movement is a constant reminder of the continent's transformation. The formation of a new ocean will completely rewrite Africa's map, altering the very shape of the continent as we know it today. As the Rift Valley continues to sink and widen, waters from both the Indian Ocean and the Red Sea will eventually flood in, creating a vast new sea that will stretch for thousands of kilometers across the continent's interior. The Horn of Africa, once firmly attached to the mainland, will become a massive island, separated by this new body of water and forever changing its relationship with the rest of Africa. Thousands of kilometers of new coastline will emerge, transforming landlocked nations into coastal states and giving rise to entirely new landscapes and ecosystems along the water's edge. This dramatic shift could unlock enormous economic potential. New ports, thriving fishing industries, and expanded trade routes could bring prosperity to regions that were once isolated from the sea. But the process will be messy and disruptive. Old coastal cities may end up stranded far inland, while entirely new cities will rise from what was once dry land, forcing communities to adapt quickly. Infrastructure and borders will need to be reimagined as roads, railways, and even national boundaries are redrawn to fit the new geography. The political and cultural impacts will be profound, challenging national identities and sparking new conversations about what it means to be African in a transformed landscape. Ethiopia, for example, could regain a coastline lost in the 20th century, opening up new opportunities for trade and international relations. The new African Ocean will reshape the continent's identity and connections, linking communities in ways never before imagined and altering Africa's place in the world. Africa's map is a work in progress, redrawn by the slow but unstoppable forces of geology, reminding us that our world is always changing. A new ocean will trigger sweeping environmental changes, Increased humidity and rainfall could transform deserts into green landscapes, but also bring unpredictable weather. As the rift floods, a vast marine ecosystem will emerge, 
While unique terrestrial habitats vanish, species adapted to the Rift Valley will face extinction or be forced to adapt. The new sea will isolate animal populations, driving evolution in new directions. Migration routes for animals like elephants and wildebeest will be broken forever. Human societies will need to adapt, changing agriculture, learning new skills, and building new communities. The transformation will affect everything from food to culture. The birth of Africa's new ocean is an ecological reset for the region. It's a new world, with new challenges and opportunities for all life. The East African Rift is a living laboratory, a place to witness a continent breaking apart in real time. Scientists study the rift to understand the forces shaping our planet. Every earthquake, fissure, and eruption offers clues to Earth's evolution. Insights from the rift help predict hazards in other regions and reveal how oceans like the Atlantic were born. By observing the rift, we glimpse the earliest stages of ocean formation. Researchers from around the world gather data here, using everything from hammers to satellites. The knowledge gained is vital for understanding our planet's engine and the risks of living on an active Earth. The rift is a classroom, and Earth is the teacher. Africa's splitting continent reminds us that our planet is restless and dynamic. The formation of a new ocean is certain, but the timing and details remain unknown. Will the changes come in sudden bursts or gradual shifts? Can we predict them to protect those at risk? We still don't fully understand the interplay between magma and tectonic plates, or the long-term environmental impacts. How will climate and ecosystems adapt? Which species will survive and which will vanish? The social and political challenges are just as daunting. How will nations manage new borders and economic zones? The East African Rift is a story of the future being written now. The world map is not final. It's evolving. Scientists will keep studying this region, searching for answers that matter to us all. The next chapter of Earth's story is unfolding in Africa, right beneath our feet.